what's going on guys welcome back to another video on engine swap supply today we're going to be talking about our ltr and our l8r engines now we posted about them a while ago and since then we've had a bunch of people ask us about them we weren't super clear on what they were but it is something we are working on so we decided to make a little video explaining them a little bit better so starting out the ltr and l8r start their lives as factory 6.2 and 5.3 gen 5 lt motors or blocks so the LTR is based off the 6.2 block, LT1, LT4, L86, and the uh, L8R is the L83 block, so the 5.3, or L82, uh, or L84. Uh, small variations between uh, these new, I guess they're called Gen 5 Plus uh, blocks, but or LT Plus blocks, so, uh, but more or less they're pretty much the same. Now aside from that, they're both pretty much the same internally. Both engines use Molnar power adder rods. Now, why Molnar? Well, Tom Molnar has been in the industry forever. Uh, I believe he worked at Wysco for a while and then eventually started K1. And uh, once Wysco bought K1, I think he moved on to start his own company, Molnar Technologies. Now, these are probably, actually they, they are the best bang for buck rods and they just work. And they both use custom Wysco pistons set up for the new stroke and then the connecting rods and obviously the appropriate bore. Not a whole lot to say on the Wysco Pistons. Everyone knows they're great pistons. They're, you know, known all over the world. They're just a great piston, a great company to work with. And that's why we use them. Now, the biggest deal about these engines is that they use a new L80 crankshaft. And I'll show you why we decided to go this route. So here's a better look at the L80 crank. Now, the cool thing about this crank is that besides, besides it being forged, because I know the LT1 crank is also forged, uh, it's got a little bit more stroke and then it also has center counterweights. And actually, we have an LT1 crank we can compare it to. So, he, so here's a better look at both cranks. Now, if you notice, the L8 T has the center counterweights right here, as where the LT1 does not. Do you need center counterweights all the time? No, but for a lot of you guys, a lot of you power adder guys, jetting turbo, jetting supercharger, that's really it. Really helps with the flex. And for the price of the crank, it's just really a really good bang for buck upgrade. Now I know aftermarket companies make a center counterweighted crank, but they're gonna run you upwards of $2,000. And they're usually in a four inch or four one twenty five or four one stroke. I'm sure they'll make you a stock stroke, but if you're gonna spend the money on that, you might as well build a bigger motor. Again, we hate to use the word budget, but the LTR and the L8R are pretty much a more budget minded uh, engine. And that's a quick first look at the new LTR and L8R that we'll be offering here pretty soon. Now, these packages can be had as complete long blocks. They can be done to the engine you purchased from us. And then we're even thinking about maybe just offering a balanced rotating assembly so you guys can install this stuff at home. Now, we're having a couple of these built already. And as soon as we get one in our hands, we'll make another video going over just how much more it comes with it. Now, this is just a rotating assembly. These engines also come with ported heads and then custom valve covers to match. It's just part of the package. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, keep an eye out for updates. We'll catch you on the next one.